Hey YouTube, welcome back, and today we're here on the cash game grind playing 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. All right, open King-10 here, Hunter calls. We'll check the 10-2-2. Two, two. Uh, that's half. I'm curious if I could check-raise this. I'm going to play as just a call, though. Uh, three spades turn check. Uh, pots it. Same thing here, just going to call. Mainly don't want to see an ace, queen, jack, or space. So there are a lot of bad rivers, but we'll call. Eight of diamonds is a good one. Guys, once we take this line, we're probably calling. It gets pretty scary if we see huge sizes here, because he's definitely going to have 2x in range. And if he starts overbetting, that's what he'd be repping. Um, I think our hand's good enough where we would have to call, especially with some draws missing. So we'll see what size he comes with. Hot size is going to be a call. And we're good versus the miss spade draw. Lucky for us there, we didn't see a jack or spade. All right, we've got a heck of a pre-flop spot here. So we open hijack, three up from the button, small blind, cold four bets. Uh, this player is very passive pre-flop. So 450 hands, they three bet only under 2%. I think I'm just going to make a big fold here with only $11 invested. I uh, hate folding ace-king pre, but I think versus this player's stat line, even though it's not a huge sample, I think this is a fold. Yeah, looks like they're going to go to the flop. We might get to see this one. Did you try trapping aces? Aces, kings. Wow. And I had ace, king, so he only had one out. Oh, that's so sick. Shiva take an incredibly bad beat there. All right, so we open hunter three bets. This is mainly a four bet to go with here. That's gonna be what we do. Start about 110 blinds deep. Amps, here we go. Oh, we run queens and aces. Oh my gosh, queen on the flop. Oh my gosh, I continue to run so good against Hunter. That's sick. Obviously a cooler pre-flop, but insanely lucky. All right, open to nine suited, get called here. We're gonna check back. Probably get to call one. I don't know if I like it. I like that river though. Uh, I think we can go big with both flush draws missing, so you can put us on a lot of draws. Probably wouldn't do this if it wasn't for the double flush draw board. Wait, what the heck did I just miss? Did I just misread my hand? I thought I had the straight. Oh, I'm such a donkey. I thought that was the four liner on the river. Well, that was super stupid. Open ten seven here. Get call. I flop the open ender with a flush draw. Uh, but do I raise? Obviously, my hand's good enough to. I think I'm just gonna flat though. Change your mind. We're gonna go for raise. Calls. Uh, ace on the turn. Go ahead and pot turn here. Jams. So I think I just have to call. Hopefully, it doesn't have a better flush draw. We have the open ender and a club draw. That's probably live. As a six, we got 31%. Oh, we hit the straight on the river. Oh my gosh, I'm getting with 31%. I think once we decide to bet there, we do have to call. Um, like I said, he's not gonna have tons of flush draws there. So a lot of times we're live even against a hand like two pair. Let's see if we can get, keep this hot run going with a good poker stars chest here. Uh, start with some coins, so that's worth 20 bucks there. And we got some cash, $50 cash, so we get $70 there. Right, opening stand suited, two calls here, we flop top top. Three on the turn. Um, he shouldn't have a ton of 3x, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm still going to be betting here, targeting weaker 9x. All in all, I would say this is a good turn. Also less likely as threes. Um... Get raised. So again, I don't think he has a ton of 3x. He's going to have some. We do block the most obvious, like one of the most obvious ones, like ace-3 suited. Um, and I'm trying to think if I just jam versus this guy. There's like no draws out here. I don't think he's going to raise full to nine. There's so many bad river cards. Oh, this is such an awkward spot. I think I just get this in and hope he calls with like king-9, nine, queen-9. Nine. Um, might be a bit of an overplay here. Um, ends up folding, so 
Maybe it's one where I'm just supposed to call and then call down. It might have been a mistake. Because um, I guess if he has like Jack Nine or Queen Nine, my f my fear is that he's going to check those back on River a lot, and I want to get them in now. And like we're susceptible to bad cards, so I don't know. It might have been a mistake, but we take it down there. All right, so we three bet Ace King pre flop get called for the small bet. Uh, turn two pair on the double flush draw board, lovely. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and pot turn here if we get called. Mainly, I wanna see them both miss, but definitely wanna see clubs miss. So we go for pot on the turn. Calls, ugh, jack of clubs. Oh, is this too tight of a check back? Oh man, such a nit. So the problem is like what worse is calling? I think he's gonna fold ace, queen, ace, 10. We really just hope he has ace, jack. That's literally it. So super tight check. Um, oh, he had ace jack. Yeah, we missed that value there. I think that's like the one hand we missed value from. I think he can maybe find a full ace queen there. To make a nitty check, I'll want to review it, but I think that was okay. Um, I probably would have bet the jack of spades. But... All right, call the ace 10 here, flop the gutter. Oh boy, 2 5, undergun open. We call. Gets through here on the flop. Uh, turning the long end of the straight, I think I want to play as a raise. Mainly targeting the other 10x here. Obviously some bad rivers if we see a spade or if we see a board pair. We're going to put it in hoping they just have a 10 and they're drawing dead to a chop. Queen 10. Very nice. Wow. Six spot there. And we get it in super good. Uh, limp, big raise from the small blind here. I think first the 35, I'm just going to flat it. I'd be tempted to 3-bet a lot. Jeez, oh, top set. Unbelievable. All right, so 9-5-3 here. Have a spade as well. Um, bet's pretty big here. I think if it's a big size and having a spade, I'm just going to flat here. I don't want to give him a chance to hero over pairs. Uh, without a spade, I would probably just jam. With a spade, I'm going to just call and then go with any turn. He bets. Ten of diamonds turn. Uh, checks. Uh, I'm going to go for a small size here. Wouldn't be shocked to see him check jam here. Kind of like hoping for it, but... See what he does. Balls. Uh, Deuce of Spades River. I don't love seeing the flush come in. Harder to get paid. Also, obviously, we don't feel as strong with our hand anymore. With that said, I don't think he takes a check call line with the flush very often. Flush draw. So I think this gets to be a jam. Also, having a spade in hand makes it more likely that we're good. The biggest concern here is it's just harder to get paid because we have less bluffs. But you go for the jam. Ends up calling with the aces. <laughs> wow, we sucked out. Oh my gosh, guys, we are running so hot. <laughs> All right, so hijack opens a bit bigger. We threw at jacks. Uh, puts in a huge four bet, so they started with, what, 90 blinds. I think versus a big size like this, I'd probably just decide to jam or fold. And I think jacks will get in. If I would have threw bet 10s, I'd fold 10s. So get in range for value here is probably like ace, king, jacks plus. Not a lovely spot, but... Go for it. Has ace king. We're flipping. And wow, we win the flip. Very, very nice there. Continuing the heater today. I think if they don't four by, I'm probably going to play as a call here. These are spots I need to get better at when I go call, call. Uh, not a huge three betting range, so if we hit the eight, more likely to get paid. Whew, king eight five, beautiful. That's 50. Uh, go raise small. I think with a flush draw here we do. So we're gonna raise small, be willing to go with. Eight's an ace king, wow. Just running good, everybody, look at that. Nice little cooler, three bet pot. Top pair, top kicker versus our set. 
Uh, cut off open, button flat. We'll just flat jack 10 suit. It could squeeze some frequency too. Ooh, top two, very nice. Go for a check, setting up check raise. All right, so he bets will raise. There are going to be a decent amount of bad turn cards if he calls. Uh, two. This is extremely bad. We actually lose the aces, kings, and queens now. Um, gonna block, and then probably jam a jack or ten. Otherwise, check. Oh, what a river! And we even beat other jack x, which he'll never fold because it'd be Jackson too. So this could be beautiful, guys. We're jamming right about pot. Let's see exactly how good we're running today. And snap folds. All right, so probably need the, you know, river didn't hurt there. But uh, been nice to get called, but we still want to get pot. All right, YouTube, that wraps up our cash game session and a legendary session it was. So we played for five hours here at 2-5 and 1-2. In the 2-5 game, 1,040 hands, profit of $3,914. In the 1-2 game, 1,609 hands, our 1,069 hands, profit of 709. Total profit of the day, plus $4,623. This is my biggest winning cash game session ever in all the years I've been playing poker. So uh, obviously we're incredible for that to happen today. Really had a blast playing. Uh, chat was really good in the stream as well. So appreciate everyone for that support. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog as much as I did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.